Welcome to the latest Fulhamish episode of Follow Fulham Away. Today we're making the trip to Anfield. Uh, we got up at 4am from Worthing, drove down to Craven Cottage and we left at half six. As, I, as you can see, we're only a few hours north and it's a winter wonderland here. Um, haven't seen snow like this in ages. We're super pumped, we're almost uh, almost there, another hour to go. And uh, yeah, quick service stop and then we'll uh, chat about the game. Let's go. Well, we've just arrived in Liverpool and we couldn't resist a quick walk over to Goodison Park uh, from the park entrance. It took us 14 minutes, uh, but it's even closer from the away stand. So here we are, you know, we're returning in a couple of weeks time in that League Cup game. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's so cool to be able to visit two grounds in kind of one go. We're having a good look around Anfield Stadium and I have to say it's definitely one of the best pre-match experiences and we're not even inside the ground yet. Everything's feeling really festive, you've got a live band on, it's a really good atmosphere and uh, it's a spectacular stadium, it's a really really great experience. Um, there's a pub on the ground as well which we won't go into today but now we're going to get in there, check out the food and beer and uh, yeah, let's talk about Fulham. Stay ready at Anfield. Tete is back in the side. It's going to be a tough one. Liverpool are in the hot form, chasing top of the table. But we're hit. We're in it for the bats, aren't we? Come on, yeah. Come on for them. Well, it's half time here at Anfield, Liverpool 2, Fulham 2. Um, it's been a crazy half, two absolute worldies from Liverpool. Um, outside the box goal from McAllister and a free kick from Alexander Arnold. But somehow we managed to stumble a couple of goals into the back of the net. Now, I've got to be honest with you, this is one of the worst atmospheres I've ever seen in an away day. Now, there were train strikes, there's 
possibly a lot of Liverpool fans in the wasteland. Just based on the goal celebrations, it was weird. It was the most quiet thing. There no limbs. Um, basically, just me and Mikey screaming the whole time. But hey, half time 2-2, two, two, we just had another goal just allowed. So somehow we're in this game and this could end up you know, taking something on the road at a huge stadium. So fingers crossed. The stadium's incredible. You feel like you're close to the pitch. Beats Old Chapel for me, definitely. Second half, we'll see how we get on, but it's a brilliant away day, minus the atmosphere at the moment. Well, the food outside of the ground and the pubs is really good. Inside the ground, we're going to give it a 4 out of 10 because um, your only drink options are classic Carlsberg, bringing you back to the Liverpool glory days, uh, and some cider, so nothing on draft. Um, yeah, the food's all right, so not spectacular. You're better off eating before you get into the ground and getting your pints away there because there's a couple of pubs like located at the ground. Very unlucky today, but a great game nonetheless. Come on, you wipes.